everybody always kind of made fun of him because he was uh, he, he didn't own a Corvette, owned a Corvette parts business. So he finally ended up getting that, that car in, in maybe 2005, 2006. But as we got going to racing, uh, more and more, obviously, it's it's not a cheap sport by any means at any level. So as we started to move up, and I had you know kind of gotten the itch that I wanted to do something uh, different from quarter midgets, you know, we realized that it was going to take some more funding. And a guy who I later came to know really well uh, came in and bought the car, offered to buy the car on the spot. It wasn't for sale, but my dad thought it would, you know, obviously supplement the racing career, and thought he could take that money and put it all towards racing. So that's that's what he did. My kind of goal all along was to buy that car back for him um, and, and give it to him as a, as a birthday present or a Christmas present. He didn't like getting presents, but uh, it was, it was going to be the one that, uh, that I could give to him that I knew he would really like. So uh, I had finally kind of gotten to that point. Unfortunately, he'd gotten sick, but um, you know, to be able to still track the guy down uh, and find the car and, and then, you know, uh, it was just really special. Uh, you know, I had a lot of good memories. We, we, we took it on a lot of trips and to sit in it and drive it again and, and kind of bring back all that, uh, that same atmosphere and that same feeling was just pretty neat. So, you know, every family has a connection with something and, uh, and for us it was, it was that car. So just to get it back and, and have it back now in the family, just, it really means a lot to me.